the one and only my bro DJ Box and uh, our brother our uncle you know our founding fathers of the game when you talk about the DJ business from Maryland to Ohio to Sierra Leone to West Africa this is one of the guys with entertainment business you cannot come to this country when you talk about entertainment you don't talk about DJ box but we just want to know where the DJ box the nickname came from uh, first of all my name is um, Abu Bakar Conte box actually I was DJing uh, when I was in college in um, um, Ohio and um, I used to DJ but you know back then we used to um, use um, records so I used to travel around with like 10 those crates you know and one of my, uh, some of my friends were like what are you man with all these boxes DJ box and that was it name just click up now everybody started calling me DJ box and I love it okay I like that you know? I love it, I love it yeah. so what you, what is your present title in the music industry oh some call me the DJs call me their godfathers some call me papa by the game some call me advisor to the union whatever i mean the names are everything promoters ceo producer anyone i'm okay they can call me whatever whatever they want you know like in Sierra Leone, normally we people want to know like uh, and in our local language who's in commute Mm -hmm. You know, where's your place of birth, you know, your yeah. village, you know, mm -hmm. province, people yeah. like to know you really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, my, my, I was born uh, from the north, but local district, a small, tiny village called uh, Magbele Ferry, Magbele, which is on um, uh, the Rokel River. And uh, that's my heart, that's my love right there, my passion. Um, I have so much love for my village, I mean, I cannot even express the words, but I'm a villager in a way, so. Okay, that's a yeah. country boy. Yeah, country that's boy. Country yeah, boy, yeah, you know, for, for those Americans, country boy. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You know, at the same time, you know, you know when, we, when we're doing this, we always like to know, because when we were growing up, we were looking up to you guys, you know. But like, people would like to know what was your really, your childhood dream. Actually, my dream, because uh, actually my dad, he had a club in Kenema um, called um, Kotawe at the age of 21. You know, and my dad, um, um, since my dad, um, he had a club in, in Yangema, from Kenema to Yangema, then uh, also my older brother, he owns uh, the village beach bar, Junior, Sulbongo, and of course, DJ Yusuf is, um, is my other elder brother. So I have entertainment in my family, so I didn't do it for me. You know, and um, I admire my elder brother so much that I had to copy from them. So DJing or the entertainment business is not something that I, pick, I just picked out or pick up because I, I, mean, I just want to do it. It's a, a family thing. So, yeah. So like uh, educationally, people would like to know your primary school, your secondary school. Yeah. How you can relate to in this country. You know? Yeah, um, I went to a uh, primary school called um, uh, UMC in uh, Tayama. And now, uh, since I, w um, I was three, that was a boarding home. And um, I was there since I was young. Then um, uh, from Tayama, I now went to um, T.C. Williams in Virginia. You know, from T.C. Williams now, I went to uh, Ohio. College, I did, I did two years. I couldn't finish, you know, the DJ business, the life, you know. But if I, if I have the time, I can go back and finish. Yeah. Like a couple of years ago, going back, you team up with a Swellunian footballer we call Mohamed Kalon. You guys came up with Carl Box. Uh, Carl Box, yeah, you know. Yeah, Box, yeah. So we wanted to know like who came up with the idea and how this because he got us so much passion in the game too. Mm -hmm. So we wanna know who came up with the idea for you guys to team up. You know, yeah, Carl Box. Um, he's a clubber. Carlo, he loves music. He, lo he loves um, um, salon music, and um, I've always supported on whatever he does. You know, and um, he loves. Um, f um, he's a soccer player, football player. So at the end of the day, for me, I'm a DJ. So he had to come and support me on my own side of passion, which is um, music. So we decided to combine the name Carl Box, which means Carl goes for Carlo. The box goes for, of course, me. So we created Carl Box, and Carl Box was, um, we created Carl Box just to kind of like help out. I mean, it, it was like a charity, you know. We formed Carl Box because of Dali Sage and Jungle Leaders. They used to come um, to my office all day and just hang out, 
looking for somebody to pay for their studio fee. And after that, the surgeon, um, young leaders, then they, they kept coming, kept coming in. So we decided to just create like a record label, which we did. And um, from, from then on, we had the X Project, um, the um, DX3, the Besaphonics, name them. It was a lot of them, you know. From then, from Calbox now, I decided to go into business. So, and I took a lot of that. I said, listen, I'm not charity, nice business. That's how the box production came. You know, because for Kalon, he's a rich guy. I'm not, I'm not a rich guy. I was done helping. Now it's time for business. So I delete the, the, the car and maintain the box. I mean, there's so much potential into this, uh, this music industry. And for me, music, I mean, music uh, is my life. You know, without music, I don't even know what I would do. Okay. That's good. Like, uh, being in the, like, uh, in the industry, one of the pioneers, you know, with like, uh, people like Jimmy B, Steady Bogo, you know, with all this issue, what, like, what do you think like is the real shortfall in the music industry? Well, I, I don't know. You have someone like um, Kim Milan, Kim Fisher, um, Jimmy, and of course Steady Bongo. When I came back home, they were doing their, their thing. So that's why I have so much respect for them. But I think they they have done theirs. And I think they still doing uh, um, what they can. But then we came in, and I believe then uh, now you guys are coming in. You know, so it's like, you know, it's step by step. But uh, I didn't. It's like by stages. By stages, I didn't. Uh, obviously, because for me already, I know it's time for me to go, and I'm ready to go. And I'm more, I'm more happy seeing guys like you, who are more focused. You know, you know what you want to do in life. You know, and at the same time, you have the passion just like me. It's not about money. It's about putting itself there. It's about the game. The game, you know what I mean? So, you know, so for me, it's like, um, I'm happy right now. I know because I'm, uh, that somebody who's going to pick up after me, you know? They're like, we pick, uh, we pick, we pick up after Jimmy and them, you know? And, uh, uh, you know? And I, I feel you, I yeah. feel you, man. I you know? You. Yeah, it's a game thing, yeah. So, like, do you really think, like, you know, people appreciate your contribution in the industry? You know, like, uh, let me tell you one funny story. At the end of the day, I mean, it's like, you know, the, um, we have the social networks now, like the Facebook. You have, you know, always the small dog, the small dogs, the backs, the backs at, uh, at, at, at the bigger dog mm -hmm. to, to have their, their, their five second fame. So at the end of the day, I don't listen to these guys. Just like um, two days ago, Daddy Sage came, uh, came to me, he just came back from the state and he was thanking me. And he, he was like, you know what, without, uh, um, he was like, you know what, Pope, I don't, know, I, don't, I don't even know if I could have, if I could have done what, I, what I'm doing right now without your help. So he just came to pay respect, thanking me, Alonzo is doing it, Jungler is doing it. For me, that's my reward. It's not what the next man is saying, because okay? at the end of the day, most of these guys, they don't even know me. They have never met me, or maybe they will know me, but I don't know them. So at the end of the day, you know now, Seba, you know, our culture is it's all about, if they can be you, don't hate. So. I know that for sure. No, I've been I've been popular and famed for the past 15, 20 years, so I'm used to it. But then the for me, my reward is when I see I'm uh, I'm part of something that you know like someone like Alonzo, you know the jungle leaders, the ex projects, the Daddy Sage, the Lady Felicia. For me, they are now you can call them now. They are they have a success story. Okay. You know, so for me, I'm part of it, and they they know and appreciate what I've done for them. It's not about you out there who don't know me. You don't have to appreciate me because I didn't do it for you. I did it for them. And don't judge me. Yeah, exactly. Listen. Don't judge me if you don't know me. No. Yeah? You know, and it seems like uh, lately, like from 2010, things are just blown out. You organizing international events, people right. coming from other countries they right. have to go through DJ box, right. doing this, you know. How do you come about this? Well, basically, I'm, 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 I created a link, you know, to be a promoter or international promoter, you have to have the link. So I created the links where about, uh, I'm part of um, I'm bringing Peace Square, the Acorn, the Binnie Man, the J. Martin, the um, um, Jody, um, uh, and the, Flav um, the Flavor. More, actually, more, more, uh, more, uh, everything was brought, brought in by Shaba and uh, the oh, mayor. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, I wasn't part of it. But actually, um, um, my connection is so big now in West Africa, where about I can just call any African, uh, any West African act um, to come in without even 
paying I'm um, paying any deposit. You know, so at the end of the day for me and the goal for that, because to tell you the truth, the Nigerians rule the African music industry today, not even West Africa, the African in, in music industry. So for me, I want to bring them in where we can uh, kind of like motivate our brothers and sisters here, you know, and try to see if they can do collabs. And, and one thing about Sierra Leone is, you know what, when we, see, when we see competition, we know how to react. So at the end of the day, for me, money is one, but at the same time, it's like just the bringing them together just like jim martin came now the, uh, he's doing a song with um, um eddie or 441 and for me that's my that's my reward you know yeah like lately one of these nigeria actor came i think jim I, jim Mike, jim Mike, yeah yeah jim Mike, yeah, so, like uh, he was like 100 percent mm -hmm. all over everything i saw the pictures yeah saw everything and like wow yeah you know, this is how things grow, and this is how, you know, you know we really appreciate what you did, man. Oh, but we have to, because for me, I, actually, we have to re reburn Sierra Leone. Trust me, Sierra Leone is not, is not what it's being portrayed or by even us Sierra Leoneans because of politics. But Sierra Leone is, a, Sierra Leone is one of the most peaceful countries in, uh, in the world. Sierra Leone is religious, religious tolerant. Sierra Leone is um, um, tribal yeah, tolerant. You know, so... Let me tell you one story. When uh, Jimai came, he called me. He was like, "Yo, let's go to the club." I'm like, "Okay, I, I'm coming." You know, but I had to take a shower. Da 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 da. Went down. He was like, "Yo, I'm at the beach." I was like, "With who? Alone?" Then he was like, "Yo, you know what? I have never been to any country in my whole life without security." He was like, "Look, look at me. I'm here." Mm. You know, so at the end of the day, we had to kind of like sell Sierra Leone. You know, to the uh, uh, to the inter uh, yeah to the international yes. Jamaica has a, um, a show on, on, on scripted on DSTV, TV, which has a twenty. You know, I think it has about twenty million viewers. You know what I mean? So I met Jamaica to my brother, my friend Gio Navo. Then me and Jamaica became like brothers now. So I was like, yo, you know what? I want you to come back, man. I want I mean, I want my country to be part of this unscripted. You know, he was like, hi, man, cool. You know. I mean, he's a nice guy, you know, came through, we did the whole line, he fell in love with Sierra Leone, and um, um, we did the documentary, which is on uh, YouTube now, um, this, um, the first unscripted um, uh, episode is going to be on March or April, and Sierra Leone will be the first country to do on the, the, the new season, so for series. me, exactly, series, yeah, series. so for me, it's all about selling SL, you know, because Trust me, there's so much to write about SL. There's so much to share about SL. Salo is moving. Now you, you see now we have look I'm home right now. For the past one week, I have lights, you know, and um, of course there's more road going on. I mean there's a lot of construction. So we have so much to show um to show the um, on the outside world as civil Indians. You know, so as an entertainer, my own way to use other entertainers, bigger entertainers in the world, to sell my country SL. And also, that's how a Jamaica came about. So, what are your like your challenges right now in the music industry or movie industry? What are your challenges? Your, your real obstacle in this country? What really, really, really we need to fix to get there? Sheriff, that would in your own opinion. Sheriff, that would take all day, and uh, <laughs> that would take all day. But actually, the challenge is like when you you dealing with unprof um, unprofessional um, um, people in the industry, we're about they're not exposed. They're not professional. They don't, they don't even know what they're doing. They don't even know what it takes to be an, uh, an entertainer. You know, after the war, a lot of young kids, they threw away the guns and pick, uh, picked up the mic. So by the, um, at the center, they don't know anything about the music industry. So, you know, they don't, um, you do, they're so unprofessional. What about? They don't respect contracts. They don't respect management. So, but I think we're getting there. I think we have gone over sixty percent now. Where about you have about sixty? You know, when you look at the um, the famous, the Alonzo, um, the Emma scene, the Cayman, the X Project, the Lady Felicia Rage, a lot of them now. Right? They are they are more professional than now than before. They respect contract and management. So I think we're getting there. It's very it's very unfortunate. I might not be one of the ones who are going to benefit. You guys are gonna gonna benefit, <laughs> no, which is no, good. No, no. <laughs> no, we coming here is just like uh, we following you guys no. your footsteps. The risk, 
you guys talk. Everybody got just gonna get it, take a risk in the business. Yeah, but to. coming to the game is the passion for the game, and we, at the same time, we just want to promote Sierra Leone. Right. To say, you know, we are capable to stand up there with the others. Right. You know, and we have the heart to do. We have the talent to do. It. Of course, we do. It's just about the unity we all can do and right. try to make this thing happen for us. Yeah. You know. I mean, it's good. Yeah. So 
Now what we need to do is sit back or go back to the round table and see why I'm just not trust you guys. Exactly. And then it's not about criticizing this. Involve everybody. You know, you know, you know. Because sometimes I was in Bo and like I've been around the provinces. I see how Australian music is growing yeah. in the local. Yeah. You know, these people appreciate their own music. Oh, yes. If yes. They, if these artists come from Bo, mm -hmm. they appreciate this oh, yeah. artist so much. The yeah. show is packed. Oh, yeah. It's this and that. Oh, yeah. So now like, uh, our question is like, how do you guys looking for talent in this country? How do you get to get to the provinces? Like, let me say, Cambia, Kabala, mm -hmm. Pujan, mm -hmm. all, all this. How can you? How are you guys bringing these people from the provinces to make it like uh, something national? Back in the days, uh, from Car Box, Box Production, we have done about ten national tours. We used to go nationwide and look for talent. But now we have grown past their whereabouts. So now they now come from um, they, they now come looking for a box production, which is good. But, but at the end of the day, it's not easy because as a businessman, we cannot even run even in that area um, in terms of expenditure. So every day, instead of we increasing the number of new acts, uh, we decrease because it, I mean we don't make money. Then you also add the ungood or the ungoodfulness of artists. You know, at the end of the day, they only use you when they need you. Like one song blow up, but they're yeah, okay. They just like, okay, you know what I mean? Exactly. In local language, we say, at least I don't do. Yeah, I don't blow up. Yeah, so they can't feel that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's happening, you know. It is, it is happening. Mm -hmm. It's clean, uh, it's really killing the you know, mm -hmm. industry. Mm -hmm. It does, it's clean. Mm -hmm. But it's very appreciable. Like some times ago, I had you know this program on radio where they have this competition. Mm -hmm. I had people coming in, came in first. I don't know if I've said sponsored or something. I had a K Milan, yeah. you know, King Fisher on you know, radio. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, that was done done by one of the biggest radio stations in Sierra Leone, ninety eight point one. Very democracy, right? Yeah. Yes, 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 which is good. I mean, because I didn't. It's really good for the country too. Yeah. You know? Yeah, very good. And, and um, um, uh, I couldn't go to the show, but um, the feedback that I had back, and I saw some uh, footage or video uh, of uh, footage. Yeah, that time, that was, um, um, it was a good show. It was a good show. And I just think and believe that we need more investors in the, in the industry, and we have to start thinking as business people. Exactly. You no, know, and, and stop all these figures. Yeah, about oh. This is a ball, this is a big rap. And at the same time, you know, like, you cannot do something in Sierra Leone where politics is not going to involve. Mm. So, what do you mean to be politics? Is politics affecting the music industry or politics is just doing something to the industry? Movie, music, what politics you really going to, to do? Let me say this step back because the industry. Yeah, to the industry. Well, uh, it's funny, it's really crazy because uh, in Sierra Leone, everything now is, is politics. Food is politics. Football is politics. Everything is politics. But um, at the end of the day, um, um, the, some, some of the musicians, they don't think, you know. And uh, now you can see now some musicians, they are, they are, they are, I mean, they are sinking their career. Some are picking up their career. So it, it, it all depends on what is your view or where do you want to take your career, which angle do you want to take your career to. So at the end of the day, it's up to them. Not to Obvious, there's always going to be politics into music. You know, music and politics, they can't work together. So it all depends the party, how they play their game. You know, some party, they will want to use the music industry and fail. Some will use the music, music industry and succeed. So it all, it all depends the strategy of the, uh, the political party. I would like to, uh, as we come in to the, to the final or the end of the interview, you know, what is like a in the next four or five years, what do you think of the goals that you think we can do or whatever we have to, we have to do to promote Sri Lanka music? Why, how do you want to see Sri Lanka music in the next four or five years? Mm, I want to see some of the music um, on, on MTV, channel, or you call it. I want to see Sierra Leone on the Coral Awards. Um, I want to see Sierra Leone artists um, on the AET Awards. Yeah, you know, and um, one thing that I'm really impressed with is the excellence. We had a meeting with the excellence. It was a challenge between the entertainment industry and him. 
is willing to invest in the in, in, uh, in the music industry right now. So GBB, myself and others, we have worked tirelessly to kind of like the structure industry, which uh, we are working on right now. Maybe in the next couple of weeks or so, we are going to present a proposal to them, the Excellency President, and see how far we can go. Because now, even if we want to print cities, we have to send to Nigeria to print cities. Okay. Exactly. If we want to have our song. That's something new. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just thought just, just, everything was happening here. No, no, because Super Sound is gone. So now, mm -hmm. there's only Super Sound. So now, if you want to have like. Me, um, large qu uh, quantities of uh, printing CDs and uh, quality. We have to send either Ghana or Nigeria, and uh, um, um, even posters, flyers. Because it's too expensive to do posters in in in, in, in Sierra Leone. Everything is too expensive because actually um, the printing guys they are not part of the entertainment industry. Okay. So I think we have to kind of like yes, like try to no create have this connection. There you go. So you can know, like, uh, when you come to, to music, you gotta do things. There you, there you go. There you go. So I did it for me. It just, I mean, and, um, we had, we uh, we had um, over, we had, uh, we had over ten meetings um, about the president, and um, he has motivated um, um, the, the industry as a whole. Where about like, everybody's now uh, thinking big? Because so, he was like, well, guys, listen. You guys always think small. Think outside the box. Think out of um, and beyond scenario. You know, so he threw a challenge, and we're working on that, on that challenge. And I think after that, um, after the proposal, if, if the government decides to implement the proposal we have for them, I think they are only going to do it. For the time we have talent, we just need to be business minded, you know, very professional. The key word is um, business minded, and just stop this whereabouts. It's all about field A, but I share it by what do you you know, no, it's all about. We're about a brush with a lot of business. Let's do business. Yeah. Yeah, I think when we get to that point, then we are ready to move. Yeah, I think we are we're getting there. Yeah. I want to prolong it, but I'll stop it for now because I want to get to the piracy. But I will, I will just hang it on for, the, for next time. But if you think you want to give us some, something about what you think the policy is about, if the policy is very effective, or the legislation, the act is very effective for about piracy in this country. You know why we keep losing money, like you said, we're losing money. On well, the uh, parliament has passed a lot of piracy law, but I think the government is not doing enough to implement um, the law. And without government implementing the law, we cannot take the law into our own, uh, into uh, our own hands. You know. So at the end of the day, just about two weeks ago, um, there was there was a guy caught. He was and he printed um GMB's a new uh, uh, movie, a lot of copies. So they 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 in court right now, but I think the government needs to do more. more. I think they are they're dragging the feet of implementing the uh, the, the act. But without them um, implementing the act, we're just wasting our time because they did. I'm not gonna do music because for now we just work with the pilots. You have these um, uh, um, guys that uh, uh, they are buying these massive uh, um, houses from certain pirate, um, pirate copies. And um, the industry, the artists, the CEOs, the managers, we are not get, getting any yeah, 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 Because I've seen it before, like in the States, yeah. you see the artists who go out to the street yeah. just looking yeah. for pipe, just break, yeah, exactly. you know, just break things, you know, yeah. this is not supposed to happen, like, you know. Yeah. But like you said, you know, it's a policy, the policy is weak, or the implementation is weak, yeah. and like, everybody going to lose. But like, uh, like, and the other thing is, is like, uh, in Sierra Leone, what do you think the music industry can contribute to youth employment, youth violence, youth this? Because we have so much problem in this country, just like every other place. Yeah, yeah. But the contribution to it, you know, to reduce these things off the street, I don't know, like you guys being the game too much, how to persuade this youth yeah. to come, you know what, come show your talent here, leave this street over there, yeah. leave this over there, just go get in the game. Right now, you have, you, you have, um, um, we have over 8,000 youths who, um, who get their living from um, the music industry. Okay. Or, or not even the music industry, the entertainment industry as a whole. And um, I think um, uh, that's, a, that's a large number. And um, uh, for, it, for the entertainment industry, I think we have contributed a lot to the um, national development. I think um, uh, the government as a whole now should make sure they, uh, they, they protect 
the investment of young Slovenians. Because the music industry or the movie industry is owned only passing by young Slovenians. So, they should, they, um, so the government should be able to protect the entertainment industry as much as they protect the, the telecom uh, industry, the mining com, uh, industry, the banking in the industry, the hotel industry. But I think the government is not doing enough on that angle. I think they should do more because at the end of the day, we have young people create their own employment, about 8,000. I think, um, I think um, we, um, we have done a lot. So uh, we are now just waiting for government to do that, that their own part of the, the, the banning. So like, do, you have, do you guys have like a special interest group or pressure group that can pressure the government to say, you know what, we want to get this done, we want to get this done, but this is the problem right now. Do you, have, do you guys have something like Of course we are, of course, just the word music. It is a, a pressure group, you know, because you know, musician, when, when, uh, when we sing against, or we sing for, uh, the folks have a good listen. So at the end of the day, um, I think this, this government has a good relationship with the entertainment industry because of what they are doing, the development we are seeing. So we are now negoti uh, negotiating uh, and behind all those doors to see how best the, the law can, uh, can be implemented. But if not, then at the end of the day, we have our whole weapon too as, as entertainment industry. We can do movie about piracy. We can do uh, uh, music about piracy. So at the end of the day, I think um, since the, the, the president is willing, at the end of the day, to tell he has been calling. Box, how far have you guys gone? I'm still waiting. So at the end of the day, for, uh, for the old music industry, you know, so everybody is so hyper right now because uh, when you have a president, I'm calling you to ask how far have you gone with the proposal, so which means he has an has a, um, uh, he has a uh, interest over the music industry. So we appreciate, we appreciate the president a lot. So at the end of the day, just hope it's not politics. Yeah, that's what that is not politics. Uh, that's the good thing. As we come to the end of it, Mr. Box, I really appreciate you as a brother. My brother. He's a pioneer of everything. Exactly. It's been a while, man. Uh, take care, man. I really appreciate coming to your house just chilling, you know? Don't you? Now, <laughs> now. <laughs> it's, it, it's Guinness time, stop. You know, so we're going to have a bar and just relax. Yeah. <laughs> it's how we're doing Sarah Lee now. <laughs>